So first off, what, what, what have you got in your hand there? What's, what's this thing here? It looks like it's been made in some sort of garage and the this, end of the earth. This is actually the first model. It's eight years old. And after eight years, it still had its uh, plasmoids embedded in it. When we put it by itself, which I can show you what we did, we put it by itself, attached it here, right? uh -huh. just on there with no visible uh, means of doing anything <laughs> except accepting the uh, exhaust gas. Yeah. And miraculously, uh, it worked. In well, they do like to live into metals uh, indefinitely, so... Eight years. We've got a record. Mm -hmm. We have a yeah, record. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's going to be a Russian out there somewhere that says it's been in the system okay. longer. But, so, yeah. Eight uh, years is pretty... The longest I've heard yet. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, and that's not a small machine, because remember we, we had the other one, mm -hmm. which was uh, um, the spears in there. Uh, but anyway, here's the... The guy put on the wrong side. <laughs> we tested it. It didn't work because it's going clockwise. So then we welded it up and put it on the other <laughs> side and it worked. <laughs> well, there you go. This is one thing before we move on. Oh, yeah, this is great. Oh, yeah, by, by the way, Johanna James Hi. is here. Yes. <laughs> Can you see through uh, where there's literally split, the metal split? Can you see the light through the holes? Maybe yeah. The yeah, metal yeah. has split inside. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it was still working All even right. with the holes in. But then, got a magic now, trick. Yeah, magnet on there doesn't stick. Uh -huh. Doesn't work. Okay, uh -huh. magnet on there. Where it's imploded. Well, there you go. You turn it upside down. Magnetized. Uh huh. Here. Stainless steel, not magnetized. Uh huh. And uh, what was the weld in that point? What was it made of? The weld. What's this thing here? It was stainless steel. Right, it's stainless steel. Because it's, it's really like in that there, isn't it? Yeah, like where it's imploded. And yeah. what are the welds on here? These are all brazed, right? That's magnetic there. Ah, that's magnetic there. So is that that's the same material? No, but it's the same thing. You can see there on crystalline. Just put it on there. Put it on here. That well, that is stainless steel. Yeah. 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 It's all magnetic. But it's go, it's going to the weld. No, no, no. It's oh, that, okay, the whole hole is ma yeah. the whole of it is magnetic. And, and along here, it's, this is still, well, still as well. Try this. That's, that's extremely magnetic yeah, but, there. Okay, try this. When I, when I say magnetic, it, it ferromagnetic. Yeah. This isn't actually magnetic. This is this has got yeah. this is the magnet. Yeah. That is ferromagnetic. Okay, but just put along. There. Okay, yeah. So it's not magnetic along here. Oh, well, that's that's mild steel. Yeah, there. correct. That definitely is. Are you sure you've not got some sort of a uh, welding material that is... Uh, well, I mean, you put it on the stainless steel here. Yeah. It's magnetic. It shouldn't yeah. be magnetic. Mm. It wasn't magnetic when we started, put it that way. Okay, well, I'll get the yeah. Magnaview film. I brought it with me okay, to good. see if there's uh, any yeah. uh, actual magnetism but I think fields that in there. that's going to be fantastic with that yeah. one. Because, get this, mm. the other one was 144 inches between the two three-inch spheres. Yeah. Right? And it was the south pole there as well with the... Plasmoids coming in, which I call the South Pole or the female negative end, mm -hmm. and then and well, I, I've got I'm, the same. I didn't bring my magnetometer, but I, I brought one on my phone. Okay, <laughs> so, so we can look at it there. So basically, this is a very significant result because this is a single sphere, mm -hmm. and it's done exactly the same. But when you add two spheres, one sphere represents the, the North Pole, positive, male, mm -hmm. anti-clockwise spin, explosive. And this one represents the implosive bottom, where the electromagnetic fields are concentrating back into the loop. So something's going on there. Well, it, it certainly, if both things are in the same place, like, like I saw on the big unit. The, the other one. That, that, other that's repeatability, here. Malcolm. That's good. It's repeatability yeah. on scales. Two yeah, yeah, scales. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a 24-inch sphere mm -hmm. that we've proven that even though... I've used these as north and south poles as a, basically as a tool, mm -hmm. that in fact, this didn't implode mm -hmm. on the big 24-inch uh, sphere on the, on the Perkins. This end imploded, mm -hmm. which is the proper end. Now this one, completely different, only one sphere, and it's imploded on the same point in exactly the same manner, mm -hmm. which is, very, we've repeated an experiment on two different scales. It's fractal. It's a big word, but I'll use it anyway. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's scale invariant. 
the, the, the process works across yes. multiple Good. scales, which you should do if it's fretful. I'm glad someone knows English. <laughs> <laughs> I was struggling. Uh, so, yeah. Very but that cool. is a really important, even though it's a small experiment, mm. it's fundamentally important. It's probably so, where, where, where was this one here? Was that on this one? Yeah, or? This was basically the inside. Oh, this okay. would have been here. So have you replaced it's, the inside of that? No, no, this is from a different one. Oh, okay, okay. So this would have been inside here. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing is, we, and we have the other one here somewhere, mm -hmm. the other one was unaffected. It was only the inside one that imploded. Okay, okay. Whereas the other one was the outside that imploded. Yeah. But, I mean, again, and uh, as uh, Johannes pointed out, it's caused a failure... And I did, when we were doing the test work in North Carolina, I said to the people, hmm, I think we've got a slight leak here, you know, because the results mm -hmm. were getting a bit dicky. Yeah. And so I thought, uh, uh well. So you, you, do, you don't think that this is uh, something to do with the annealing on there and it, it's got a different thermal expansion coefficient and then it just failed at that point? I mean, that could be part of the reason for the failure, but I don't think it's necessarily the reason no, for, for the magnetization. Well... Yeah. It's pulling itself in, yeah. and the plasmoids to, uh, embedded in the metal, which creates the electromagnetic field and makes the otherwise non-magnetic stainless steel magnetic. And when they're infused a lot, which this one is, mm -hmm. then you can see that the stainless steel is magnetic, and it shouldn't mm. be magnetic. Ferromagnetic. Ferromagnetic. Mm -hmm. okay. That's tough. You <laughs> <It's> strong. <laughs> strong. Yeah. So there's, de there's, de there's definitely a thing here, but I. Mm. Um, but those were a stainless, meant to be stainless steel welding rods, but because they, in fact, there's no interaction between them. So, I mean, we did. I was very careful about that with the stainless steel because mm -hmm. we wanted it uh, to take, obviously. But the, uh, you know, it's and this weld's really interesting because if you look at that colour again, mm -hmm. that's a similar colour in the sunshine as we saw in the other oh, one. Oh, we had mm -hmm. a red gold like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, Thank uh, you. <laughs>